At Impact, when we say we are changing the life of a village and the heart of a man, there are two things happening. Of course, there is the water which changes the hearts of men and women in the village. But also, with each project we take a select group of 12 men who come not only to help get water to a village, but for a unique spiritual growth experience. They call it a water project, but in my opinion, the water is just an excuse to be here. We, we drove up that day and it was just all I could do to, to, to keep from coming apart. <laughs> As the days went on, I come to see what that meant. Uh, not just the Campaneros, but their families and wives and children. The immensity of the need here, getting out and getting dirty, it broke down any, you know, any barriers that might have been there. I would equate it to John 1.14 where it said that Jesus became flesh and lived among us. So the idea is just to become flesh, you know, they can touch you and see you. We, we were out there with them and that's what meant the world to them, is that we were willing to leave America and, and come down here to just be with them in kind of their struggle. I came here thinking I was coming here to help somebody else and and they just turned it around on us and it really touched my heart. The time each team spends in Honduras is split between water projects, developing relationships in the community and concentrated discipleship and spiritual growth. And going up there and, and being part of something like this just makes me so grateful for what we have in America. I'm changed forever when it comes to taking care of things at our house now. You know, certainly makes you think about the complexity of my own life and schedules and, you know, all the things that we do and certainly is drastic compared to what, what I live right now. And I think as North Americans, we need to take our lives seriously a little more and be just that little bit more thankful for what we have and to maybe take some of what we have and give it to somebody else. All week long we talked about uh, kingdom living and having a kingdom mindset, you know, and, and modeling what we did here, which is, you know, loving people and being a part of their lives. Anybody, anybody. I believe Christian or non-Christian that would go to, on a trip like this, it, it would change their life. It would give them a perspective that they'd never had before, and it would give them a respect for other people. Seth and Ralph are just two men from a recent team sent from Hillside Church in San Antonio, Texas. Their testimony reflects the impact that these journeys have had on them spiritually, and how they impact not only a village, but their own families church and communities back in the United States. Connect with Impact about what it takes to be part of a life-changing spiritual journey to Honduras. Contact us by visiting impactwater.org.